What's up everyone and happy Friday, I'm Stella Chung and in today's fix, a Netflix data mine could suggest a partnership with PlayStation, the Xbox series just broke its US dollar sales record, and Epic's Tim Sweeney praises the Steam Deck. <laughs> Netflix hasn't been shy in the past about wanting to jump into the video game space and recently announced that it would be doing just that. But now a data mine suggests that a partnership could be forming with PlayStation to bring some of the biggest PlayStation brands to Netflix in some form. As reported by VGC, data miner Steve Moser appears to have uncovered a PlayStation brand imagery and content in the Netflix app code. Moser shared the information in a tweet which showed images of both the Ghost of Tsushima box art and some PS5 controllers. It's not completely clear what this means for Netflix, but we could possibly see Ghost of Tsushima content coming to the streaming service in some form. This wouldn't be the first major deal between Netflix and Sony, as the two companies agreed to a deal earlier this year that would bring Sony Pictures Entertainment movies to Netflix first, following their theatrical runs. Netflix has been wanting to jump more into gaming for a while now, like earlier this year when it was reported that the company was looking to hire an expert in gaming content to lead a new division. It recently appointed ex-EA and Facebook gaming executive Mike Verdu to jumpstart that effort. And of course, Netflix has experimented with interactive stories before, like Black Mirror Bandersnatch, which was sort of a choose-your-own-adventure production. However, Netflix has yet to release any full video game content, and it's not confirmed what Verdu will do with the company, since Netflix hasn't said anything more about his role. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The Xbox series has officially taken the top spot as the best-selling platform in dollar sales for the month, and has even set a new dollar sales record in the US for the Xbox platform. As shared by the MPD Group's Matt Piscatella, Xbox's June 2021 is the best month for the Xbox platform since June 2011. Its performance helped June video game hardware dollar sales jump 112% when compared to June 2020, totaling $401 million. Despite the PS5 not securing the top spot in hardware unit or dollar sales in June, it remains the fastest selling unit console hardware platform in US history through its eight months on the market. A little fun fact, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart achieved the highest launch month dollar sales in franchise history and more than doubled that of the previous record holder, which was 2016's Ratchet & Clank. But overall, June 2021 saw consumer spending across video game hardware, content, and accessories grow 5%, reaching $4.9 billion. Speaking of gaming hardware, the Steam Deck was recently announced and Valve's rival Epic Games had some positive comments about the platform. Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney was incredibly supportive of the new console, calling it an amazing move. The positive comments may have something to do with the fact that the Steam Deck can run and utilize the Epic Games Store. Not only can users bring over their entire Steam libraries, they can also access their content from competing stores like Epic, GOG, and other PC gaming storefronts. Epic is still dealing with their lawsuit with Apple, whereby Epic is attempting to force Apple to allow more flexible payment options so that not every purchase has to go through Apple first. The Steam Deck would effectively get rid of that issue for Epic since Valve is known for allowing other users, developers, and companies to use their OS however they want. The Steam Deck will be available this holiday season with reservations starting soon, so keep an eye out if you want to try and pre-order this one for yourself. What would you like to see Netflix do with PlayStation? Will you be ordering the Steam Deck? Let us know. I'm Stella Chung. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our exclusive hands-on preview of the Steam Deck where we go over the details of the new console and show off all its details. You can also download the IGN app on all of your mobile devices, subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com. Ah!